Now let's move on to the case. Still, it is going to, we're still talking about the short hedge, seller's hedge. But in this case, market is going to be bullish, right? Uh, exam example three and example four. Uh, in both cases, prices go up. In one, cash prices uh, go smaller than the, the, the futures. In the other one, cash prices go larger than the futures, right? Example three, it is going to be seller's hedge or short hedge. Uh, it, it is early uh, March. The spot price is $60. Futures delivering in December is 61. Market is bullish. Prices go up. It goes up 60. It goes up 35 cents in the cash market, but it goes up 50 cents in the futures market. We set up the table. This is the hedging strategy. Again, uh, we are going to be long in the cash market, so we take short position in futures. Market is bearish. Prices go up, sorry, this is a typo, this should be 35. So this, th this is what we made in cash market. This is what we lost in the futures market. And this is the net. As you can see, under this scenario, under this uh, hedging strategy, we ended up losing a little bit of money $75,000 and again you remember because we are obligated to uh, close these positions uh, we lost this $250,000 in, in the financial market if we would know that the market is uh, going to be bullish there was no need for hedging because we didn't know what is going to happen in November we got into the hedge and we right now we got a stock and we have to pay $250,000. If there was no hedging, we could have made $175,000 more. And right now, because under this hedge, we ended up losing uh, $75,000. Okay, uh, the fourth example, uh, market is still going to be uh, bullish, but what happens here is uh, increase in the cash price is going to be higher in the compared to the futures. So prices go up 50 cents in the cash market, but only 40 cents in the futures. We set up the table right now, cash market for 60, and uh, futures delivering December 61. Uh, time passes, it's early November, market is bullish, prices have gone up, and 50 cents in the cash market, and 40 cents in the financial market. So do we make money or lose money in the cash market? Prices go up, go up. we are seller, so we are going to make more money. Right, so how much the difference between these two, which is 50 cents times the amount of oil that we have, which is 500k, we make money, make more money in the cash market. Financial market, do we lose money or make money? Short position, bullish market, we lose money. How much the difference between these two, which is 40 cents, right? 40 cents times the 500 contracts times 1,000 barrels each. So here we make 250K in the cash market and minus 200 and we lose uh, $200,000 in the financial market. What is the net? Net is positive, slightly positive, right? Again here, uh, because we are under this hedging, we are obligated to close the position. We we'll lose the money in the financial market. If there was no hedging, if company was fully exposed to any risk, then we could have made $250,000. But we lost $200,000 of that in the financial market. 